late game because you don't really care about aggressive expansion. Well, then again, I guess I could just not worry about the the cheaper culture conversion. I got a lot of culture converting to do anyway. Got to keep those merchant guilds happy no matter what. Why, you may ask? Because they give me money. They give me a half decent amount of money. Okay, internal conflicts for my poor subject. I should probably go and save them from themselves. Double time, folks. Okay, cancel diplomatic and get influence. Nah, I like having all these um, uh, all these diplomats to be lazy. Gain about a thousand a month, so in a few years I'll have a healthy amount of manpower to again crush down on Bengal with friendless Bengal, so it should be a lot easier to gobble them up. And their land is still worth a lot of war score, which is a shame for me. Oh my. Could I just let them collapse? Would that be better for them? Good of them to get their fort back in a jiffy. I don't know what it takes to get through internal conflicts, so it's probably not great. Capitals have no bearing on enlightenment spawn location, Jake. What, just universities everywhere then? That's not good. Because I'm not in a position to be spamming universities with my kind of income. 55 ducats a month, you know, it's times are tight. Maybe I should just let these guys uh, collapse. As long as they occupy a fort and occupy half the country, they will collapse to it. And I don't really mind if they get autonomy or such like that. Will them collapsing not reset integration? Nah. Probably not. Plus, my good friend Diviat is on the case. Okay, maybe he's not. And <laughs> they're gonna fight each other too. There's no way he has the admin to see it through this uh, disaster. Nah, I'll help him. I'm a good sub uh, master. University, Parliament seat, or European 20 dev with 555 ruler. Alright, so universities everywhere then. I need to save up, and I need to save up bad. I don't want to spend my manpower here. And that's what I'd be doing. Ah, forget it. You're on your own. I'll certainly help if you have these guys uh, pop out, because then you would collapse and spit them out. Wu Separatists are going to be over in Ningbo, so yeah, I guess I'll be ready for them. Ah, can't help it, I'm too nice a guy. Chagatai still allied with Vijayanagar. Hold on, still? They weren't allied before, were they? Sounds like something I would have broken up from them. No, they got them instead of uh, Andra then. Maybe I should just focus my units in the north and crush Chagatai whenever they jump into these things. Because they are a right pain. Hello, Jake. How goes the man that pours? Well, we're pouring out uh, manpower. We're pouring out just about anything we can, really. Alright, Andra. It's a small, crappy province, and you should be terrified of me. Well, in a sense. Give it to me. Hmm, easy as that. No 
intention of intervening in the Ottoman war here, even if they are fighting the world. Keeps them off my back, and I will have to fight. Holy smokes! Why? Ottoman conquest and Spanish crusade against. So yeah, they got their work cut out for them. Albania might well be seeing more of their provinces back. Yeah, probably not. They got no cores, but still. An Albanian man can dream. So close. A couple of provinces from Vijayanagar and then a few from Bengal. Of course I got to convert it as well, but we're getting on that. Fortunately I got far superior tech to Min here, so taking these provinces is no difficulty. So yeah, they got internal conflicts. Anyone remember how to get rid of that? Is it positive stability and no rebels? Because they're not about to have positive stability for a long time here. Yeah, they lack so many cores, the poor sods. Maybe Chagatai would listen to me when I say break alliances. Not quite, but if I puff out my chest, they would. Provided they don't build up their trust with Vijayanagar. Also, Delhi is getting destroyed. Seems like a good opportunity to grow the Prussia of India. Once Godwana is out, and Baluchistan is feeling the burn too. Might be an idea. But I do really need to just rest my poor nation for a while. Is Taiwan a nation? No, what you see here is Sulu. And I uh, don't know why they went over there. Maybe they felt a bit scared. I was hoping Ternate would take all this over, because then I could annex them and wouldn't have any conversion problems since they're already animist. But that's not how it's going down. never going to get uh, out of this spiral, I don't think. It's a long time before I can integrate them, too. Shame my dip rep is terrible. That's okay. Once our heir takes the throne, it'll be prosperous times. 455 is a good, uh, good leader. take to get Baluchistan out of all of this. I mean, that would go down well. Just do that and then take over Delhi. I don't know what Delhi have left. But Nepal deserve a bit more. I mean, they've been left with so little throughout all of this. And the Prussia of India deserves a lot more than they have right now. Infantry, morale, discipline, decent tech. They deserve some of this. Baluchistan, get away from Delhi. Delhi still have an army, granted, and it's got good tech at that. This may or may not be the brightest thing I can do right now, but I'll show them how to war. I could probably just threaten war for the land. That way I don't have to fight them over it and I just take it. Cathar. I get quite a lot of aggressive expansion too. Hell, it's a nice province. Yeah. Works for me. Splits them up too. Now, men are probably even worse up their debt hold. They have too much debt! 
<laughs> okay, I see what you're telling me, game. I think they have too much debt. Alright, Bengal goes down in four years and I get all the land I need for my achievement. Following that, I need to crush Liang good and proper. No rebels. Not plus one global unrest and plus one stab. Damn, because that plus one stab is not going to be happening for them. At least my silk just went up in price, and I do like expensive silk. Unfortunately, my control over um, trade is abysmal. I'm just relying on what I can get out of Bengal here. I think my navy is not looking so hot these days. Just keep these guys super placated, because we have the prestige to do so. Jake, have you noticed that Ming have deleted more than 15k troops so far? You probably mean Min. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me since they have too much debt. But me, I just need my country to get itself together. I'm going to need universities. I'd be as well putting them in all the high developed provinces though. Because I can remember where all of those are. Tangu was fairly high development. Some of these are as well. Bengal Delta I believe. 24. 24 again. Sure, I had other high development. Oh man, Nepal still want tons of money. They're gonna have to fend for themselves, though, and that's a good reason to throw another vocation onto Khmer because I get prestige for that. I'll lay down those universities. Don't know why it's costing so much, though. Well, it's because they're expensive, but inflation's still there. Still holding my breath on the whole event that brings down inflation. Probably going to be holding my breath for a long time. But yeah, what this will do is this will spread that institution that I want. Oof. That's, uh... That cost a lot of money, didn't it? But I can't really afford not to pay my army here. Even if I like drowning in cash. Gotta keep my subject on their feet. Whilst they slowly and very unsurely don't core their provinces. I mean this Regency Council and Terrible Air can't be helping the situation. The huge base tax I'm giving them is probably contributing too. Hmm. Given the age of our ruler, I think I want that 100 mil. Thank you kindly. It's good being scholarly. Should probably take advantage of being scholarly right about now. We'll give it... Uh, give it a little bit. I think you'll hold on. Can we see how far Animist Red stretches? Quite far. It's doing pretty good for itself. Just needs to completely take over the Bengal region here. <clears throat> Here's hoping Nepal don't eat too many problems with this land. It's not in their culture group. Sadly, I'm taking over their culture group, but they should be able to set these guys as accepted. It's only a few years, not even. It's two years until I smack down on Bengal once again. Need that war cabinet, right? Cost of reducing war exhaustion is too good. And by too good, I mean pretty useless. Unless you uh, reduce war exhaustion quite often. I think I'd better keep the mercs. Times are hard for us these days.
All right, diplomats down. Fortunately, unfortunately, I only got a spy master. I want this guy, even though he's expensive, because I need to integrate Min eventually. Goodbye, Cash. So, do you think the mission modifier that gives minus 2% cost to reducing war exhaustion could use a buff, Jake? What mission modifier uses that? And yes, it should. Alright, oh, I wanted to be getting Spy Network on Liang to get some claims on them. Probably should have done the same on Bengal, which saved me a lot of admin. But I mean, I've got my claim on Gouda, who really needs more? Well, let's do it anyway. Very little European presence here, unless you count the Ottomans. And I don't count the Ottomans. Miltech 21 is scary though, very scary. Because it gives more tactics and my enemy Bengal has it. Damn, that, that's really bad actually. Not only that, but huge amounts of infantry shock, I'm just going to have to smother him. It shouldn't be too hard with these units, but I think it tells me <clears throat> that I want mercs on the front line in this war. Keep my soldiers fresh. And he'll probably... Well, no, Delhi got a bit banged up. I doubt Delhi will be sending much condottieri. And I'm also going to threaten war on Delhi some more when I can. Make hay while the sun shines. France dishonoring their alliance. Again, France is so underperforming. They're decently looking France, but I guess they're getting dragged into too many wars. Probably due to allying the Swedes. Nobody should ally the Swedes. Vijayanagar, however, have allied Liang. Uh, you don't need me to tell you why that's a really bad thing for me. Fortunately, I can crush down on Chengsheng and then tear Liang to pieces. That's probably what I'll do. Because, yeah, Liang, I'm just going to eat. I also want to start removing cultures, but I need uh, need the rest of my dip ideas. Okay, a little more than a year before wartime. A good time. These uh, manufacturers are spreading pretty well, but since I'm not doing a lot of teching, I don't feel like I have to go out of my way to do a lot of it. Yeah, tax is nice. I wonder what poor forgotten Chinese culture group will be resurrected by Jake to replace Liang and then be eaten themselves. No, I think I'm just going to eat Liang outright. Um, I've had... I've had enough with subjects. I'm a big enough guy to eat it up myself. Good. Just mercs taking damage there. Which is exactly how I want it. I mean, this guy's been at it for... Is that like 30, 40 years? Trying to integrate... My subject has been at it for a long time. I think it's high time we got more money. I'd get even more money if you guys had more uh, influence over my nation. <clears throat> I'm also wondering if I'm still getting privateered here in Bengal. Thankfully I am not. But that doesn't answer my question. What will I do? I think I'll just take the money straight up because I love money. And then I need some support from our people. Should probably seek their support. 
They have a terrifying lack of influence over my nation. What the hell? I'll settle for 50. And then there's you. I'd like to give them more, but uh, it's a wee while before I can call D it. <laughs> Big swing in manpower gain, but what you gonna do? Okay, war with uh, my good friend Bengal very soon. I can crush him here, but then I'm kind of limited in how I move around here unless Vijayanagar lets me or someone else move around. Vijayanagar may give Condottieri to them. Hostile, hostile, militarist ruler. Yeah, I can see that happening. So I should be ready for that uh, eventuality. So maybe you guys can take a step back, or what should I do? We'll get everyone into Bengal Delta and figure it out. Also take a look at our new general. I can't really tell who's who. But you don't really bring anything to the party that others don't do better. Jake, do you still have manufacturing missions? Uh, it appears not. Which is a crying shame. I do need to do something with my admin though. Don't want to be spending all that extra because I don't have manufacturers, but Pretty soon I'm going to be needing to core a lot of land. Very much a lot of land, so we should be fine as is. How about we get our infantry out of here? In fact, we have our regular infantry somewhat split up and ready to take care of the, uh, the carpet sieging. And then our glorious Merc infantry can just take the front line and die for me. And that means one, two, three. One, two, three and then splat. That's the hope, at least. He could uh, slaughter me. But I think Gouda here have river crossing penalty to all provinces. Not from the north, interestingly. Could probably force march my way in like that. Wouldn't that be something? Don't forget to claim before declaring war on Bengal. Uh, much is true. And yes, I know I should probably be claiming on them as well. It's the most expensive stuff they've got that I want. Well, what I want are these. So I'll be having Burind as soon as I have 25 to spend on it. Has Manipur made some friends yet? Ah, Dai Viet is our bestie, I think is the, the way to put it. We're true blue together. Something like that. I'm going to need a wild card diplomat. Oh, these are not buckets of ducats. Trust me, if I had rushed India, I would have so much money. It wouldn't be funny, except it would be really funny. I like how the Ottomans keep getting involved in wars, though. Keeps things good for me. And I want Tech 23, but that's a wee bit away. Ah, oh, damn. Hopefully Min can deal with that. I'm also not really concerned about uh, this guy having autonomy issues. So... Let's have that. I think there's also states that I could and should be making for the good of the land. How about this? Am I going to be taking these over? Yes, I will. Which means I got cores to make, and that puts I uh, uh, puts my admin to good use. All right. How's Bengal going to get a surprise uh, guarantee or something on me? 
Are you really going to let Bengal exist after all they put you through, Jake? Bengal haven't put me through much. I mean, I had a, a war that went pretty badly, but that was my fault entirely. Now, they might run over to Damon, which would be a shame for me. So I need to be ready to rush my way in there. Shame I only got two fire, but I got five shock, which is nice. Alright, don't be making any friends now. I'm coming for you. Huh, well that's one way to do it. Probably wants to seek these guys out. It's not necessarily a bad thing for me. wasn't in the mood for eating a river crossing penalty on you. Well, it's probably for the better just to do it anyway. Now I'm confident I can defeat them. Confident I can defeat them. Well, he'll run after that. Gouda is still going to need some uh, attention from the cannons. Well, it really doesn't, actually. I can just slaughter this guy in my spare time. Oh, shoot! Forgot about that, didn't I? He had units in Kale. And I had units in not my... Uh... Hmm, uh, that was bad. Hmm, okay. deal with them, please. On the double. Spectacularly bad of me. At least they're running. I'm gonna need a siege on there nonetheless. That's spectacularly bad of me. Do you have the Kale mission? Uh, no, and I don't know what Dornogovi is. Well, it really is. Where is Dornogovi? Oh, heavens, no, I'm not going up there. Aesthetics mean too much to me. Alright, maybe I'm gonna have to just force March to take these guys down, which is a crying shame. I hate to waste, uh, wait, what? Not what I expected. How about I tell my subjects that they can pretty much do as they want now? Yeah, there we go. Uh, hopefully, Catman Do can hold out for uh, a month and all will be well. Need to worry about these, you'll take care of that, and you will come back to deal with these. Good. Just getting some units onto Patna so he doesn't feel the need to see, uh, relieve that siege. Good. This isn't so good, but I'm sure they can figure it out. And also, hopefully, you don't... Nah, it doesn't matter. They won't have the time to take it. We'll just batter them down. We get to flank them with a cannon, which is an unusual situation. And we're going to feel the pain for that when he reinforces. Okay. Shame about some of that, though, because I can't get to him here. Unless someone wanted to uh, allow me in, but people really don't because they hate my guts. Probably should have uh, waited out and clean, um, made Delhi give us that, but there was no guarantee they would. 